azimuth compression. The target signal phase changes with respect to the antenna position. From, the phase history of the point target located at x0 and y0 can be derived as, 13. The azimuth compression can be performed by using, 13, to create a matched filter along the cross range direction. Since the curvature of phase n, 12, varies with range, a different azimuth matched filter must vary with the range. Shows the azimuth compression filter. The SAR image is obtained through the azimuth compression, as shown in, 13. The process of obtaining the SAR image using the FMCW radar is shown in the flow chart in. Flow diagram of SAR imaging. In the W band, RCM does not have to be used depending on the range and the antenna beam width. After applying the azimuth compression filter, to the two-dimensional range profile, the azimuth compressed SAR image of the impulse target is obtained, as shown in figures 14 and 15. Azimuth compression filter. Azimuth compressed SAR image. Azimuth compressed SAR image shown in three dimensions. The range profile in the SAR image can be represented in figures 16 and 17. The range resolution of the SAR image is lower than the impulse range response shown in. This degradation is estimated to be due to azimuth compression and may be improved via a precise range cell migration. Range Profile in SAR Image Point Target Profile in SAR Image Cross Range Profile The cross range profile at a target range can be obtained by taking a column from the SAR image. This profile with the target location is shown in Cross Range Profile of the Impulse Target a detailed analysis of the point target is shown in, including the side lobe level and resolution. The theoretical null-to-null -null cross range resolution of the SAR image can be calculated using, 14. Detailed analysis on the cross range profile of the impulse target. Because the target range is small, the synthetic length is governed not by the antenna position but by the antenna beam width. The 3 decibel beam width of the antenna, that is, 10 degrees, was used for the calculation. Table 2 outlines the resolution in the cross-range direction. The cross-range null-to-null resolution is 0.0183 meters, and the cross-range half-power resolution, 3 decibels, is 0.0076 meters, as measured by the SAR experiment using the impulse target, as shown in. The experimental null-to-null -null resolution matches the theoretical expectation of 0.0183 meters from 15. Measured cross-range resolution of SAR.